Okay, Jonathan Fibonacci. Going to talk about finance stuff. I'm mad as hell. I'm not going to take it anymore. Nature lover, dad, stock trader, teacher, book reader, cannabis advocate, MRA, hashtag, photographer, newbie, comic, financial reporter, 19, holla, what's up? Okay, and I like a little bit of twerking. Okay, I'm not scared. I mean, I'm, and these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girls right there. Look at that. Oh, wait, that's, that's New York City. Okay, why am I talking about the big short? Okay, let's... Let's go back. What what's going on? I I had no idea. I thought this was just okay. What's going on? Sometimes you know what? I don't. Okay, I need to start this video all over. Okay, start all over. Ready? Let's something more professional. Something that has a little boom, boom, boom. Thing, holla. Like it's magic. Like it's ratchet. What's he talking about? Is he Fibonacci going to be talking about Big Short and Blackstone? Okay, what, what? See, that didn't quite work. Blackstone and ETFs. What, 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 boom. Okay, let's go back. It's just, it's okay. She's, she's upset about something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how she does it, but I know she has a... Happy, uh, happy boyfriend. Oh, gadget. gadget, that's right. This is my favorite right here. She's from Russia. See? Russia twerk. Boom, 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 boom. You know, you just cannot be in a bad mood. How do you talk about finance after that smile? See how she kind of looked at me? She's like, I think Fibonacci needs to talk about Blackstone and ETF. Hello, John Fibonacci here. I'm going to talk about something. You know, I've been reading Barron's Magazine. You know, that little thing you get in your newspaper, you go to your library. I saw this. I'm going to go back to this. This is Blackstone's CEO. Now, okay, in short, if he he called me right now and said, hey, Fibonacci, I want you to come work for me. I'll pay you a billion dollars. Guess what I would say? Yes, because I'm a hypocrite. However, Blackstone's CEO, Schwartzman, I don't think you get any Jewier than that. Schwartzman, um, Fibonacci, Fibonacci, okay, even Fibonacci, okay, Fibonacci can never go Schwartzman. Okay, the Blackstone CEO, Schwartzman, he's up 40%. He's happy. Everybody's happy. I mean, she's happy. Fibonacci's happy. We are all happy until we go here. Let's listen to this. I think this is a real important, important um, video. Not this one. Well, this one's beautiful, but this one is. When the banks committed what the, the banks did what? Let's just start that over. You know, this is one. This is these are one takes. <clears throat> banks have conditioned us to trust them. Twenty-five percent interest rates on credit cards. They have screwed us on student loans, and we can never get out from under. One of the best the movies of all time. The Big Short. No one is paying. No one's paying attention except for Benoji. Uh oh. For 20 minutes until they buy themselves out with a tarp bail out. That's all stupidity. That's fraud. Tell me the difference between stupid and illegal and all my wife's brother arrested. What? Okay, that was funny, but not funny in a. Off of their stupidity. Do you have any idea what you're up against? We have to act. Now. One of the best actors, Christian Bell. You know, he makes a point in The Big Short when he, he says, he, he makes this point. He goes, whenever there's a, a rise in complexity of financial documents, whenever things get too complex, there's usually fraud. And I, I love that line. Um, there's many things I got from the, the movie. Well, Mike Barry, who Here you go. Shoes, Mike Barry, a real life Mike Talk Barry. Mike yes, he does. <laughs> Steve Carell, one of his best roles. No, 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 my cap, my cap, my cap. What do you mean? My cap, schmuck. I love you, honey. I'll talk to you later. Ryan Gosling, I mean, I think he won the lottery. Okay. Okay, now it's just getting Brad Pitt, of course. Another guy that's won the lottery. So what's your point? I hear you asking. Okay, Fibonacci, what are you going to do? Take on the big banks? Hamish? John Fibonacci? Raffi, what? The banks, they're all... They're all asleep at the wheel. And so Jonathan Fibonacci is here to talk about 
something that few people remember. Chasing Madoff. Now, here you go. This really happened. Yes, he had the most apropos name of all time. I mean, there's just a few people in the history of humanity that their name um, aligns with exactly who they are. Like Tiger Woods, Usain Bolt, Chasing he made off. You get it? Like made off. And you know what's real weird is it, it's it's interesting how even the mere mention of this name is viewed as anti Semitic rhetoric, which is inherent to the propaganda of the big banks that are ran or run by mostly um, uh, Jews that we can't even talk about this guy. And we wouldn't be talking about this guy, the Madoff guy who made off without this guy. Now, here's a Fibonacci. You might not even know this guy. You might not even care. But this dude made it his obsession to simply talk about what Madoff was doing. And that Chasing Madoff is a documentary about Madoff, <clears throat> but it's also a documentary about the amount of opposition that, I think his name is Harry. He's a Greek. Marco Polos, what this guy went through to get this guy and chasing Madoff. And so you're like, okay, Fibonacci, that's old news. You little YouTuber. Why are you talking about this Fibonacci? And, and in the big short, everything's okay. We got the tarp bell out. We got all this shit. Maybe you need to go back and just listen to your, some of your fucking... Yes, that's what I need to do. Thank you. But I read something in the Barron's Magazine yesterday. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Great movie. I would say it is a very strong probability. Indeed. Indeed. Zero. Back to the residential sector. Back to my original point. I saw this yesterday. This was talking about the Blackstone, Stephen Schwartzman. His stuff is up 40%. Everybody's happy. Nobody really knows how to verify that number except him. And then I read this, and I saw that. I thought, this is, this is, somebody needs to talk about financial journalism and how fake news exists in even, you know, uh, marquee uh, financial uh, trade, trade papers, such as the Barron's Magazine. You know, he talks about this, and if you notice, it's right here. He says, investors who buy Blackstone's publicity, publicly traded units, uh, get exposure to these assets, namely loans and banking. But then he talks about this. It says, what they're really betting is that Blackstone's ability to continue to bring in money, find good deals, and generate hefty returns. So here you go. What if, here's just a Fibonacci, you know, SEC solution. What if we made it where mainstream trillion dollar, uh, half, a, half a billion, you know, $500 billion hedge funds. What if we made it where they just couldn't raise capital, but say five months of the year, or maybe, maybe one full year, they cannot raise capital. And then with that, whenever there's not an infusion of capital, then their balance sheets are more honest because nobody really understands how these banks are set up. And nobody really can verify that, th that, that the money that's coming in to find good deals, to generate hefty returns, that that's actually a 40% profit and not a 40 pile of Ponzi. I saw this yesterday. Oh, by the way, I'm in Durango, Colorado. I love photography. You already know that took my photography pictures today on the way to the public library. Isn't that beautiful? Which one do you like better? This one? The color one with the filter? You got to go black. Once you go black, you don't go. I forgot how that goes, but isn't that beautiful? Yes. And if you want to buy that picture, I'd be happy to frame it up. Just send me like 200 bucks. If you've been your blah, blah about financial markets and EFTs, totally not, or ETFs, totally not interested in that, but I want to buy your, your pictures. Here's $200. Why don't you sign it? I'll give you $250. I saw this. This really caught my eye. It talked about, this is an article out of Barron's Magazine from Crystal Kim. 
she, she mentions that there's a lot of money that's, that's pouring into these ETFs. And again, I don't think anybody really understands these ETFs and that they are trillion dollar funds, trillion with T. And we're trying to figure out how 8.2 trillion come, or 8.2 billion comes in one day after Trump speaks. And we're, you know, she's trying to figure out where this money's coming from. And she says something here. She says, there are other factors behind the inflows to ETFs, namely hedge funds are covering short positions. Hedge funds are, co- are covering short positions. Think about that. We have these trillion dollar ETFs. We have hedge funds that are using ETF money to cover a market that they believe is going down while this shit is unverifiable. Now, somebody tell me, somebody smart, somebody who went to MIT, somebody with you know a, a good sounding uh, Wall Street last name, tell me, how, do, how does anybody truly verify that that 40% upside is legitimately 40% upside and not just another version of chasing Madoff? Not just another version of a person that's using the money coming in to hedge short positions. Tell me where I'm wrong. I don't debate, but I love healthy, intelligent discussion. Email me, Americana417 at gmail. Dot com. Close out with some good Russian music. You know, you used to think you had to fear Russians, and here I am going, okay, they're bringing me comfort. Love the Russians. Boom, 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 boom. Fibonacci is all over the market. How can we email him? Go to Americana417 at Gmail. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs>